I am an American. Secondly, I'm blessed to be a parent. My kids have been my inspiration. My kids have been a reason that I can't quit. Simply put, my kids have been the reason that I have not earned the right to quit. Now my, my goal is just to give back. My second tour to Iraq, um, sustained injuries. As a result of that, I've been diagnosed with uh, a traumatic brain injury, uh, neuropathy, double vision, vertigo. I have uh, tinnitus, light sensitivity, um, memory issues, and I have PTSD. There's something about just cycling that you're, you're free. And that was it. I was just free. I, I didn't think about anything. Boom. I just get lost on the trails. And, you know, I love that because you lose your sense of innocence from combat. War changes you. And from everything that I experienced, everything that I've seen, as much as I love my kids, I didn't know if I was worthy enough to be around my kids. And cycling was that bond, that bridge that allowed me to reestablish or reconnect. So that's why I say cycling saved my life. When I was discharged, medically separated from the army, it was just, okay, hey, you said the VA is gonna take care of me? Guess where I went? To the VA. It wasn't necessarily like that. Got to the Shepherd Center and again, they listen and they, you know, they're subject matter experts when it comes to spinal cord injury, but they also have all this history and his background when it comes to PTSD, when it comes to traumatic brain injuries, because again, they've seen this. So that day was a very interesting day because uh, it was the first time I had been there just being able to focus on myself and um, it's just some things kind of came up that I had, I guess I had held it in for a long time. brought back a lot of memories because I can honestly say I know what the heck it is to want to quit. I get it. Sometimes these, these, I won't say disabilities, but sometimes these things, they get a hold of you and they can send you to a dark place in your life. And that's just something that a lot of us are not prepared for. We're not victims. This is a reality of life. War, combat sucks. That's it. It's ugly. It's, it's, it's nasty, it's low down, it's dirty. But from those things, people stay safe. And unfortunately, a lot of us come back home with injuries. I'm a proud veteran. 